Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson number 89. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the color picker to pick different colors from uh, different elements. It could be within your workspace or it could also be outside of the Xara Web Designer workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to the Designs Gallery and go ahead and lock that panel. Click on Page Elements folder and then the Photos folder. And then lastly, you're going to click on the Landscape Photos folder, but I already have that open. And by the way, you don't have to use the Landscape Photos folder. It just happens to be the photo folder that I'm going to use to drag in a picture. So pick any picture that you want and drag it to your workspace. And after you drag that to your workspace, we can go ahead and close out the Designs Gallery. And I'm going to move this picture over a little bit. And then you're going to go to your toolbar and pick a quick shape. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, but you know that that's one of the quick shapes that I pick very often. And then after you draw your quick shape in your workspace, go to the lower left hand corner of your screen to the color editor and left click on that. And then we're going to, and actually we don't have to um, change the color or anything. I just changed it a little bit by accident there. But you're going to see a color picker icon here. And if you didn't notice, it was also at the bottom left hand corner of the screen too. So we could have picked it from there. But I tend to like to use this because I can get the color picker closer to the element, which in the case, in this case is a picture of uh, some trees here. And then all you have to do is double left click and drag into your workspace and drag over the element, in this case a picture, you'll be able to pick different colors in there. So you can kind of move your color picker around this image and when you find a color that you like or the color that you were looking for within that image, you would just let go of your mouse button and it would pick that color. You can see we've got a nice little golden brown uh, color from this photo. So you can, you can get really creative with picking colors uh, by using pictures and then you can put a combination together for it. So for example, maybe you have, have a uh, website thing that's re related to nature and you want to grab some nature colors. You would use a picture that obviously represents nature and try to incorporate it into your website. So that's one way that you can use the color picker. Uh, another way that you can use it is if you actually, um, and I'm, you're not going to probably be able to do what I'm about to do next, so if you can't, don't worry about it. You just resize your window, but in this case, I'm going to double left click my window. And the reason I say you might not be able to do this is if you're not on Windows 8, you won't be able to pin your, your menus to the side of your, your workspace. So I'm going to pin this menu to one side of my, my window here. And then I'm going to also bring up my Fire my Firefox web browser, and I'm going to pin that to the other side of my menu here. And what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to go to uh, Yahoo.com, and when we get there, I'm going to use my color picker, which I can't see right now, so I got to actually open this back up and make it full screen, and bring up the color editor and then I'm going to move it over so and then I'm going to resize this window back over and snap it to the side of my window and then with that like that what you can do is you can double left click on your color editor I mean your color picker and you can pick some colors from that and I'm going to move this color editor over some so that I can see the colors change and you'll see that I can pick some colors from this image right here so if you wanted to get some rock colors, maybe you have a website about science and you want to get some colors that are related to a rock, you can get a few color combinations. And what I would recommend actually is if you draw a few rectangles in your workspace and get a few different variants of that color, and then you can get some pretty interesting colors for your website. So I highly recommend giving this a test and seeing what you can come up with. And as you can see here, this looks really really nice in my in my opinion it looks very uh, relaxing colors uh, so that's how I use the color picker if you have any questions feel free to send me a message on YouTube don't forget to subscribe comment embed or share our video and give us thumbs up if this video was helpful I hope you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day